the grade boundaries for the senior maths challenge are out and this year in 2022 the grade boundaries were just a little bit lower than they were before and i'll tell you what they were in a second and what scores you needed to get a bronze silver and gold certificate but it's important to know how the rules changed slightly this year in terms of the number of people getting certificates so it's always in the ratio of one to two to three people getting gold to silver to bronze certificates uh, but a, a couple of years ago and before that only 40 percent of people who entered the contest got uh, certificates. Last year they increased that to 60% and this year it looks like it's gone up to 66% so we would expect it to be slightly easier to get each boundary this year compared to last year. So here are the scores that you needed. Uh, this year you needed 48 marks to get a bronze certificate. Now given that you get 25 marks for free that means you only needed another 23 uh, marks to get to a bronze certificate. Four marks a question assuming you don't get uh, any wrong and have any penalties so that's about six questions is all you needed there to get a bronze certificate um, a silver was 62 uh, and a gold was 76 so to get a gold uh, 76 marks then that's 25 plus 51 so you're looking um, at needing about 13 questions correct assuming you don't lose the one mark penalties too often for other uh, questions so uh, they're the boundaries and you might be interested in the follow-on rounds. So there's the senior kangaroo uh, and everyone this year who uh, got a gold certificate uh, with 76 will have qualified for the senior kangaroo. About 6,000 people a year take that competition and then about a thousand more uh, take the uh, Olympiad round, the MO round one, and the cutoff for that was 100 uh, marks uh, this year. And uh, that's uh, those two follow-on rounds will be happening on the 16th of November, so in about a month's time, so you've got a bit of time uh, to prepare for that. So uh, well done if you've uh, got a certificate, or if you just took the uh, challenge and didn't get a certificate, that's um, fine too. The aim is to enjoy some maths, to do some interesting puzzles, and to think about them and to learn something from it. And um, if you're taking it again next year, or if you know anyone taking any of the other uh, math challenges don't forget i've got uh, free online courses to help you prepare for all of the major uk math challenges over at courses.mathsaurus.com also linked in the bio so if you've taken those i'd love to hear how you found them um otherwise uh, well done and good luck in any future challenges you're taking